Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. Today, I thought I'd do- I wanted to do another tiny house build. So you may remember a while ago I did a bunch of like 4x4, 3x3, 5x5 and 6x6 homes that are all tiny. I had a lot of fun with those. And I wanted to do another one, but I wanted to make this one a little bit different. So, you know, as the title and thumbnail may suggest, it is a lake house. It is literally a house on a lake. It kind of looks like a little- a little bit like a houseboat as well, uh, as- as I get sort of further into it, but, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun with it. So, I've just used the fountain, uh, to create, I guess, the lake. I was gonna use a pool, but then I didn't- I don't know, the pool didn't look as good, because you could see- you could see, like, the big flat walls on the sides a lot easier. Whereas using the fountain kind of made it look a little bit, you know, a little bit more pond-slash-lake-like. At least for my- my- my liking, anyway. So I'm just sort of playing around with it a little bit now. So we've got a bunch of, like, large pine trees and or whatever they are, fir trees or- I don't know, conifer? Who knows? Anyway, some type of tree from, uh, Outdoor Retreat that I'm using there. Uh, just to sort of decorate it. I want it to be like a nice wooded area, make it look kind of cool. Uh, so this is on one of the 64 by 64 lots, so we have plenty of room to play around with here. And now, I'm just trying to create a space to have a balcony on the house, because it wouldn't let me do it. There we go. Because uh, I, yeah, obviously want a little outdoor space as well. Ideally, it would be nice if you could do what, you know, what you could in previous games, is have like a foundation go over the water. That would have been ideal. Uh, but you can't do that. So, in any case, it's, I think it still looks pretty good uh, having... Just even just like the, the sort of flooring out there, it looks kind of cool. So I've actually got the entrance to this house at the back of the lot. Uh, I didn't want to do it in the front because... It kind of just looks a lot cooler having having it just look like it's almost yeah it looks like it's kind of floating in the water it almost looks like a houseboat uh, when you look at it from the right angle and I think it's just kind of interesting so because this is literally just a rectangle of a house I decided to make the roof a little bit interesting by only having uh, the ha like the sort of roof structure on half of the the building and then just extending the eave of the roof up to the you know up to the little half wall kind of thing I got going on there so I don't know allow allow some breeze to sort of flow on through. And then I also decided that the lake was way too big and I didn't want it to be that big, so I made it smaller. And I moved everything forward a little bit just because, yeah, it didn't need to be that far back, I decided. Uh, yeah, so I made it a little bit smaller. Now, I really wish that we had some diagonal floorboards because there, there's the one that's like the, uh, the sort of interlocking diagonal ones, but that doesn't look really good. Uh, I guess, in hindsight, I really should have just built this not on a diagonal. <laughs> I should have just built it on a regular grid, but you know what? Building on diagonals is often quite interesting anyway. And, you know, adding the diagonal to being built on top of a fountain or in a fountain, aka a lake, I think just made it a little bit more interesting for me to build anyway. Uh, so you can see here, I'm just playing around with colors, trying to find something that works because, you know, it's just one of those things is if you don't get the color scheme right, it just won't feel right. And also, yes, my nose is slightly still blocked, so apologies if I sound a little bit different than usual. Also, my other, my regular microphone broke, so, uh, I, you may, if you, if you've been watching my videos recently, and one of them, it was kind of just like a crackling sound throughout the entire video. Uh, yeah, so I'm using a different microphone too, and my nose is blocked, so I probably sound slightly, I mean, it sounds similar, but it, it I probably sound a little bit different, just in case you're wondering. Anyway, I added this, I don't know, this weird sort of chimney section onto the build. Uh, no reason other than I thought it kind of looked cool, and also it added a tiny bit more space on the interior, so I was kind of happy with that. Now, as far as tiny builds go, this is not the smallest house I've ever built, because that would probably go to the 3x3. No, it definitely would go to the 3x3 build I did. Uh, but it's still, you know, it's still pretty damn small if you have a look at it, so it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely no huge home. Uh, but, uh, it's plenty of room to fit in a double bed. Now, here's the issue. Uh, <laughs> working with diagonals, uh, we get a lot of weird shaped rooms. Uh, you can see, like, the, that is literally gonna be, like, the, the shape of the double bedroom, uh, right now. It is, like, got all these weird diagonal walls, it's got, like, this weird bathroom coming into it. But it works, and I think it looks pretty cool in the end anyway. Just wait, wait till the screenshots. I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, so just slotting in the kitchen now, or at least figuring out where I want it to go. Uh, because we, yeah, again, because it's on a diagonal, like these cabinets were being really annoying to play. Like they were just being, look, look at them. Like I'll, tr tr they wouldn't 
just go next to each other. So I had to just like sort of manually place them in. And then I decided that I wanted a wall there because I thought it'd be nice. Create sort of a little bit of a separation between that and the hallway with the door. It's not really a hallway, but you know what I mean. And then we had this diagonal wall uh, in the corner of the kitchen. So I had to try and figure out how I was going to fit counters in there. I was trying to get like a decorative object to put in there to sort of disguise it, but nothing really fit. In the end, I kind of just decided to put a counter in there and just have it go around because it actually looked kind of good. And I think it kind of works anyway. At least I, I, it looks like it looks kind of good. Uh, and yeah, no, it does look good. I, I kind of wish we just actually had uh, sort of a piece that could fit in on like in diagonal walls that would connect it to a regular counter. If we just had a piece of a counter that could do that, that that would be that would be superb. Uh, because that would make it a lot easier and you wouldn't have to <laughs> sort of glitch it in. Uh, yeah, so just getting a little dining table and a bin. I did put a bin in this house. That is one of the really large things that I always... Not physically large, but one of the sort of important things I always forget is a bin. Not this time. Not this time. I did not. Uh, so that's good. Anyway, yeah, so we've got the little kitchen area in there, which I think is quite nice because you sort of enter into it from, you know, the front door leads into the kitchen. I thought I'd separate up the house with this little half wall here as well. Just to create two different zones. Uh, so, you know, kitchen dining and then you have uh, the, you know, little living area space with the sofa and the TV. And also a computer for all your studying needs. Yes, that is right. We have a computer. Get excited. Uh, I think I do change that desk though because that's too big currently. It's like you really don't need a desk that big in a house is small if you know what I mean. And obviously I'm... Just saying the house is quite small. Uh, I love the carpet. That, uh, that carpet there, that textured one that came in uh, Dine Out. Love it. Absolutely love it. I am so happy that they finally added more carpets in the game. <laughs> Alright, man. It's good. It is It's good times. It is good times. And uh, that new tiled floor and that new marble tile floor, actually, that I, I just used in the kitchen as well. Very, very nice. Goes with the carpet really well. Like, I thought I'd just tile just underneath the kitchen cabinets and not the whole room, because I was like, eh, doesn't really make sense, so we'll just do a little space. Now, did have trouble trying to find a curtain that could fit over this without poking through the walls, because it's on a diagonal, and because it's also... Uh, it's, it's Because the window is diagonal, it's wider than a regular window would be. So single single curtains or single blinds don't fit. And then the double ones are slightly too wide, except for that one there, that sort of half curtain piece that was from, uh, was that uh, mo movie hangout stuff? I don't know. It's from one of those. Um, except for that, that kind of works. So it's just like this like, sort of sheet hung over it. And then you, yeah, I guess you could like, pull down and, and cover up. I don't know. But anyway, that's the way I did it. Uh, yeah, so I just moved the computer to a smaller table so it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, instead of, you know, taking up the whole space over there. Uh, the bathroom is pretty basic, as you saw. It's just the, the toilet, the shower, and the sink. Uh, it's all that you need. Now I decided to go back outside and do a little bit more decorating. Because actually, I, th I was thinking, I was like, I've got th this huge sort of outdoor area. And I don't actually have, there's no actual way to get to it at the moment. Uh, because your sims can't walk on the really small uh, space next to the house. Like, they can't walk around the side. And I think originally I was planning on having, you know, the bedroom at the front and the living room at the back, which ideally I probably should have done. But by the time I realized that's what I was meant to do, it was kind of too late to, you know, swap everything around. So I kind of just worked with it the way it was. And I just started adding more details here and there. And then I just do a door from the bedroom uh, out to the balcony at the back, which is a very, very nice entertaining space. Now, the only, the only downside to using a fountain in this build as opposed to using like a, a swimming pool uh, is that obviously you can't swim in it? So it would have been nice to be able to dive off of the back of the uh, back of the, the sort of deck into the pool and then or into the lake and swim around. Um, but like I said, the edges of the pool looked far worse than the edges of like a fountain. If you have a big vertical wall, it's kind of hard to disguise underwater. Uh, it's possible, but it'd take a lot of time. What I really, really really want in this game is terrain editing why is that still not in the game i want terrain editing or oh, just like a pond tool that would work too actually that's all we need just to make a pond i know there's that that you can purchase a pond uh through like by debug but that's just that random circle fishing pond that you can get in a bunch of places which i don't really care for and you can't really build a house on top of that either a pond tool pond tool that's what we need that's all that i need uh, but a man can hope and a man can dream 
Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so... Got a lot of the living room done now. Just going around doing some decorations. Just sort of fleshing it out a little bit just to make it look, you know, a little bit more full. Because even though it's a small space, if you don't kind of fill it out, it looks a little bit empty. Uh, I do... I That's another thing I really like is the plants from Dine Out. Like the sort of uh, fake plants. I like the plasticky plants and uh, and the wall plant as well. Like the, I put it just next to the kitchen there. I, I don't know. I really love them. They have this vibrant green color. And it sort of just fit really nicely into that small space. And again, having trouble with the curtains because the windows are on diagonals and they don't fit single ones or double ones. But again, as you saw, I use that sort of half curtain sheet thing. Uh, and there's the bedroom windows. And by the way, you'll see in the screenshots, those windows produce some beautiful shadows on the inside when the sun comes through. <laughs> it does look great. Uh, so a nice little barbecue out there so you can have a nice roast. Uh, roast up some awesome feasts out there. Looking out over the water. What what more could you ask for? Honestly, it'd be beautiful out there. Of course, we get some nice wicker sofas. Uh, perfect for the outdoor environment. And a little dining table that I kind of just shoved over there. Uh, so I thought I'd get one sofa and a couple of like little armchairs that you can just, you know, sit there, have a chat. And uh, just read a book and enjoy the day. Enjoy the weather. And, uh, you know, it's just beautiful. It really just is beautiful out there. Look at that. Look at that. It's great. Uh, some more of those plants from Dine Out, of course. Now, there's like the house is done, but the the none of the landscaping is like this is a 64 by 64 lot. So there's actually quite a bit of landscaping to do on this. And this is also where, uh, like I was saying, you know, actually just having a pond tool would be useful. Or you know, terrain editing that'd make a flat lot look a lot nicer. But you know, I can dream. I can dream. Maybe one day, man. I, it's, it's, it, ter, I guess terrain editing is one of those things that you don't really need. Like, I'm going to be honest, you don't really need terrain editing, but as someone that enjoys build mode, it, it adds a lot, especially like if you look back at the Sims 3, you can build a house on a cliff. How cool is that? I want to be able to do that in Sims 4. Um, anyway, so I thought I'd make like a little kind of weird campsite area just here, uh, like, I don't know, it was like a little clearing, so there'd be like, um, I think I put in like a fire pit, and I put in one of the games from Outdoor Retreat, and I think I put in, yeah, that little wishing well from Romantic Garden stuff as well. I don't know, just some outdoor activities. And that's also something we definitely need more of as well, just outdoor activities, uh, which, <laughs> which we really don't have right now. Like, I mean, there's a few things like, like that horseshoe thing or whatever it actually is I don't know what it is from outdoor retreat there's a few things that you can do outdoors but not really like there's no I don't know I don't even know what Sims 3 had that you could do outdoors like a swing set I guess there's like the the monkey bars for the kids and that I don't know there, there needs to be more stuff to put in your garden I feel like there's still nothing to do there unless I'm just stupid and I can't remember something but I don't know anyway I thought I'd make the lake like super blue and super clear like look at that it's beautiful it's beautiful. <laughs> Quote me on that one. Uh, I thought I'm pretty. Pr I'm pretty proud of that one, even though it's not even that funny. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that lake. It is nice. Uh, yeah. Now, now the trick is to try and disguise the edges of the lake as much as possible to make them look a little bit more natural. I mean, at the end of the day, it's never going to look like an actual lake. Just, just given the way that the tool in the game works, uh, given the fact that it's not actually a lake. Um, I tried, and I wanted, yeah, I really wanted, like, this little beach area here as well, which I thought would be a little bit of a fun idea, uh, but I tried. I tried. Uh, I kind of just had to use a lot of rocks around the edges of it, and a lot of, like, sort of those little grass growy things and ferns and everything, just to make it kind of fit in and look a little, a little bit more natural. Again, it's never going to look perfect, because that's just the way it is, but I... Can only say that I did my best and I'm trying to make it look as good as possible. Now I used these hedges and I scaled them up because and the reason I did that is just to make it have like a backdrop through the trees. Just so basically so you when you look through the tree like look at the trees, you don't see through and see the house that's on the other side. Or you don't look through and see a field just over there. Because this is supposed to feel like it's in the forest, right? It's supposed to be really dense, uh, thick forest, you know, loads of trees. So I just put in these big hedges, lots of undergrowth, just to make it feel like a little bit more dense, and just so you can't it doesn't ruin the scene by looking through and seeing nothing behind it. Uh, so that's kind of what I used those big hedges there for. Um, and I think it worked pretty well because when you do get down and have a look at uh, the house at sort of different angles and lower angles and 
and you know really get in there and actually it actually looks kind of nice and it does look like it's actually in like a foresty or mountainy kind of setting <gasps> mountain world that's what we need uh, i guess we have granite falls but like an actual like alpine world that'd be cool in the sims that'd be cool <gasps> or like a grand canyon world we need one of those as well we need okay we need mountain grand canyon like the opposites that's what you need both of those we need them do it make it happen good uh <laughs> i don't know i just want some really beautiful scenery i don't know think have we ever had like a a proper like alpine world I, probably i mean the sims one had like a snowy area but it wasn't alpine uh sims two no not that i can think of. sims three now that's the wild card did that ever have like an alpine world don't think so there's like 50 different worlds from the store in that and then the ones that came in the game. And then, of course, people could make them. So I'm sure someone actually made an alpine mountainous world. Uh, but I don't know if we ever got an official one. Uh, I don't know. It'd be cool, though. Like a, a snowy snowy sort of world. Not just like a mountain. I guess, like, you'd want... Okay, I guess... Uh, okay, this is getting in a whole realm of everything. We need You need snow for that world to work. And, oh, I guess you don't really. You could just paint it, like, looking like snow. I, anyway, I digress. Uh, <laughs> doing the beach here. Thought I'd just put, like, another little campfire there and a couple of, like, I guess they're supposed to be towels. I guess I could have put yoga mats there. Might have been more useful. But uh, I guess you can just swap them out, so whatever. Uh, and a little beach umbrella as well, which I wish there was, like, a proper beach umbrella but i guess there's no reason to have one in the game yet anyway uh here are the screenshots of the tiny house again remember the home is actually pretty damn small it's just a lot around it that is huge also you you noted that i put a couple of fountains in the actual fountain because i don't know kind of look fun having a few like uh watery fountains around the place little jets and all that and of course you can download this on the gallery uh you can click the link in the description down below if you want to you know do it through the website or if you search hashtag the sim supply or just search for the sim supply on the gallery. It's the same as my YouTube username, just all one word. You can find it there. Oh, look at that little camping area. That's nice. We're about to jump to the inside as well so we can actually see the interior. No, we're not. We will do it in a second. Uh, so we can see the interior in its full glory. Uh, just move it a little bit closer so you can see how it is connected to the land on that side. All right, so here is the main living space, which I'm actually really, really fond of. I like the bold yellow as well of the chairs. Like when you view it from this side, you kind of see the green and the yellow. And you're like, oh, that's nice. And you view the other side, you're like, oh, oh that is yellow. Now that, if I've ever seen yellow in my life, that is it. Uh, there's the bathroom. Again, nothing too special about that. Just a toilet, shower, and a sink. Uh, the bedroom, that lighting, I absolutely love it. I I love that update when they, they made this lighting update. It's so nice. And you have these windows that just cast all these awesome shadows. Uh, there is the back deck uh, where you can, you know, barbecue and hang out. Uh... But yeah, and we'll just have a look at the layout of the house so you can see it there as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.